Hello, and welcome to Oathbreaking News, your Oathbreaker news source brought to you by the Signature Spell Bomb. In this episode, we'll be offering an apology, discussing reports from players who have experienced problems with Commander 2020 product, and finally, the 521 Double Master Set announcement and how these things will affect the channel and the format. Just a quick reminder, if you like what we do, then please help us out by like, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. So, before we get into it, I would like to apologize to the viewers of our channel. I am new to content creation, and I have made some amateur mistakes, and to be honest, I am still developing the skills necessary to provide this community the professional content it deserves to support the Oathbreaker format. I am not practiced in presenting to an audience or editing videos, but I promise to commit myself to work on my pronunciation, enunciation, and providing better content moving forward. And I'd like to thank those for sticking with me while I work to improve myself and the channel. In our first story, in the Magic Reddits there have been complaints of miscut, misprinted, missing shipments, and reports of missing or stolen store product at big box stores such as Target and Walmart. First off, miscut product isn't something new. There seem to be relatively few complaints regarding this matter this time, and it does seem to come up with every new set that's printed. So what are your options if you open miscut product? There are a few choices. You can return it, keep it, or sell it. Keep your receipt and try to return it for replacement deck is the easiest solution. Or you can keep it as a rare oddity as you can be sure that there will be few or no other decks like the one you opened. Or, and it may sound crazy, there is an entire community of Magic the Gathering players that exclusively collect and hunt for misprinted and miscut cards. And with the greater rarity of such mistakes, these cards can be thought of as ultra rare. And as such, these collectors are often willing to pay a premium in such cases. An example of this is the misprinted Guru Island. The standard Guru Island goes for $338, and the misprinted version of a Guru Island known as Drowning Man Island, in which the set symbol has been misstamped to be in the water around the island art, looks like a little drowning man in the water. These cards have been known to go past $1,500 on eBay. And in our next story, one player on Reddit reported that the 2020 Arcane Maelstrom Commander deck they opened was just two halves of the same deck printed and sealed together. That is to say that the player received two copies of 50 cards instead of the full 100 card deck. In this case, the only option we can offer to players is to return the product. Now on to missing product. As many players already know, a lot of stores reported that they didn't receive their full shipment on orders for their customers. A personal friend reported that the seller he had pre-purchased his Ikoria Commander deck through didn't even reach out to let him know there would be shipping delays. He had to do it himself. If this happens, we suggest that it is best to reach out to the store or seller and verify this is the case and see when they will be able to replace the order or if it was somehow canceled. It is always okay to check in order to protect yourself and also to make sure someone doesn't just take your money and run. Lastly, please, if you have to buy your product from a big box store, be aware that some people will attempt to open and steal the product before you even have a chance to look at it. Many will attempt to leave the packaging in a seemingly sealed state to cover for their theft. Since magic product is often shelved near an exit, it is important to know that it is rife for shoplifting and theft. This is because they can take the product and get in and out of the store quickly. I have seen such empty packaging on the shelf myself and I have seen it mentioned in Reddit with pretty high frequency. Please check all the sealed product thoroughly before checking out to save yourself some pain. And if you have time, I suggest that if you are purchasing this product and you are not going to keep it as an investment to resell later, you open it before you get home to save a trip. I myself often open my magic crack in the car before I have left the store parking lot. Finally, in our top story, on 5-21-2020, Watsi announced the revival of the Masters product line with a brand new Double Masters set. 
There have been 11 master set releases to date. Information will be in the description. And they have been received by the Magic community with mixed reaction. Much of this has come from the fact that these sets are full of premium reprints and to many players come at a premium cost. WotC, who seemed to be going all in on the double theme of the set, announced this product by double posting the article with a different spoiled card in each article. Link in the description. Double Masters will be released on August 7th, 2020 in paper with no MSRP, but Amazon is currently listing the pack prices at $16.30 at the time of recording. And on August 6th, it will release on Magic Online with packs costing $6.99. Double Masters contains 332 cards, 21 will be rare, 40 will be mythic rare, and each pack may include a randomly inserted premium version of any of the cards in the set. Each booster box will contain two randomly inserted foil box toppers in showcase art, with each card also being available in regular printing in the set as well. There are a total of 40 individual box toppers for this set. Every booster box contains 24 booster packs, each with 15 randomly inserted game cards. This set is unusual in the fact that it will have two rares or mythic cards in each pack. It will also have two randomly inserted premium foils. Instead of collector's boosters with this set, they will be releasing a VIP edition, but at the time of this recording there are not any details concerning what that actually means. In a live stream event held by Wizards of the Coast, it was revealed that as part of the draft experience for the set, each player will get to draft two cards as their first pick of each pack they open. This is different from the regular style of drafting, and it will be interesting to see how this actually affects the drafts on the release dates. Double Masters will be available in English, French, German, Simplified Chinese, and Japanese at the time of its release. As part of the announcement and the live stream, the following cards have already been spoiled in alternative extended border art, but will also be available in the set in the regular printings. Mana Crypt, Kalia of the Vast, Blightsteel Colossus, and Doubling Season. And, as a special treat, Atraxa, Praetor's Voice, was accidentally spoiled in a separate posting of their article on a different site. All of these cards represent highly sought after cards in need of reprints for the Commander format. And, with very few exceptions, anything that is good for Commander is good for Oathbreaker. The spoiled cards made me very hopeful for the set. Many of these cards are also excellent additions to Oathbreaker, and as this channel is focused mostly on budget deck builds, it will be interesting to see how these reprints affect card prices and deck building trends in the future. Now that we have provided you with information and our opinion, give us your thoughts. We want to hear what you have to think about this episode and of the channel in general. Your thoughts and comments also do help support the channel. If you enjoyed the video, we want you to support the channel by like, sharing, and subscribing, and turning on notifications so you can be the first to see our updated oath-breaking news videos. We have merchandise. If you want to show your support, please see the link in the description. If you want to support the channel directly, please consider becoming a Patreon. You can check us out at patreon.com slash signature spellbomb. Again, a huge thank you to my viewers. I can't do this without you guys, and I wouldn't. Thanks again, and I hope I don't see you in the headlines. Music